for YouTube. So if you haven't liked and subscribed to us, we are at over 85 now. We are getting so close to 100, I can taste it. So any friends, families, neighbors, strangers passing in the street that you would like to draft into following us, we'd appreciate that. Thank you for the activity that is going on over uh, on the Facebook page. Um, welcome Gary, Bev, Bob, Angie, Robert, Ann. Um, for some reason, we just lost our feed. Let me see if I can get it back. Um, hopefully it will, it will kick in again. There we go. Don't know what happened, but uh, we'll make it work. Let me call it back up again and uh, see if we can get it. So hold on a second. I don't know what happened. I started recording and it dropped our live feed. There's always a challenge. Give me a second. Um, so anyway, uh, just, just to chatter to fill dead air because you don't want that. Um, how are your, how was your day? How were your days yesterday? I was talking about my clergy, clergy colleague retreat. What did you guys do? Anything remarkable? Washed my car. <laughs> hey, listen, it's the mundane things in life that are a joy, right? I did a lot of sewing of PPEs, you know, um, and a lot of volunteer work yesterday, that at home version. So, yeah. <laughs> Went to Home Depot. <laughs> Home Depot is good. That's it. That's all good. I did my church work. Church work is good too. Okay, let's see if we can get this back on. <laughs> Don't know what happened. We're getting there. Okay, we're back live again. Sorry about that, folks, if you missed us, um, but we are back live again. And uh, I'm going to take us to the service and get us started. Uh, no, whist no sense whistling down the wind. So here we go. All right. Let me get this. For some reason, my phone is really acting up today. There we go. There, we are live. Okay, good. Welcome all. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us confess our sins, my brothers and sisters, against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name, amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the antiphon and the invitatory. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. 
Again, sorry, folks, we lost the uh, live Facebook feed, but it's back online now. Keep an eye on it on the side here, and hopefully if there are any issues, we'll get them covered and taken care of. Psalm 78, the first part, we will offer this uh, responsibly by verse. I'll do the odd verses. You guys will respond to the even. Give ear, O my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open, I will open my, my mouth, mouth in parable. I will utter dark things from of old. Things that we have heard and known that our ancestors have told us. We will not hide them from their children. We will, we will tell, tell to the coming generation the glorious deeds of the Lord and his might and the wonders that he has done. He established a decree in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our ancestors to teach to their children. That the, that the next, next generation, generation might know them, might know them children, children yet unborn, and, and rise up and tell them to their children. That they should set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments. And that they, and should, that they should, should not be like their, their ancestors, ancestors stubborn, stubborn and rebellious, rebellious generation, generation, a generation whose heart was not steadfast, whose spirit was not faithful to God. The Ephraimites, armed with the bow, turned back on the day of battle. They did not keep God's covenant, but refused to walk according to his law. They forgot what he had done and the miracles that he had shown them. In the sight of their, the of their ancestors, he worked marvels in the land of Egypt and the fields and so on. He divided the sea and let them pass through it and made the waters stand like a heap. In the, day in the daytime, he led them with a cloud, 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 and all night long, 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 long with fiery light. light. He split rocks open in the wilderness and gave them drink abundantly as from the deep. He made streams, he made streams come out, out of the rock, the rock and caused waters, waters to, flow to flow down like rivers. rivers. Yet they sinned still more against him, rebelling against the Most High in the desert. They tested, they tested God, God in their heart by demanding, by demanding food, food they craved. They they spoke against God, saying, Can God spread a table in the wilderness? Even though he struck the rock, the rock so that, that water, water rushed out and torrents overflowed, and he also, and he also gave, gave bread or provide meat, meat for his people. people. Therefore, when the Lord heard, he was full of rage. A fire was kindled against Jacob. His anger mounted against Israel. Because they, because they had, had no faith, faith in God, God and did, did not trust, trust his saving power. power. Yet he commanded the skies above and opened the doors of heaven. He rained, he rained down, down on them, them like, and gave, them, the and gave grain. them grain of heaven. Mortals ate the bread of angels. He sent them food in abundance. Because, because, because the east wind, wind to blow, to blow, in, the blow heaven, in heaven, by his power, his power he, he let, let out the south, the south wind. wind. He rained flesh upon them like dust, winged birds like the sand of the seas. He let, he let them fall, fall within their camps, all around, yeah. all around, all their, around dwellings. their dwellings. And they ate and were well filled, for he gave them what they craved. But before, but they, before they had satisfied their craving, craving all the while the food was still was in their mouths, mouth. the anger of God rose against them, and he killed the strongest of them, and laid low the flower of Israel. In spite, in spite of, of all this, they still, they still did, did, they did, not they did not believe in his wonders. His wonders. So he made their days vanish like a breath, and their years in terror. When he killed, killed them, they, they sought for him. They repented and sought God, God earnestly. earnestly. They remembered that God was their rock, the most high God, their redeemer. But, but they, 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 they flattered him with their mouths, mouths. They, they lied, lied to him, to him with, their with their tongues. Their heart was not steadfast toward him. They were not true to his covenant. Yet he, yet he, he being compassionate, forgave their iniquity and did, and did not, not destroy them. them. Often he, Often he restrained, restrained his anger, anger and did not stir up his wrath. wrath. He remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passes and does not come again. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. Now when the people complained in the hearing of the Lord about their misfortunes, the Lord heard it and his anger was kindled. Then the fire of the Lord burned against them and consumed some outlying parts of the camp. But the people cried out to Moses and Moses prayed to the Lord 
and the fire abated. So that place was called Tabera, because the fire of the Lord burned against them. The rabble among them had a strong craving, and the Israelites also wept again and said, If only we had meat to eat. We remember the fish we used to eat in Egypt for nothing, the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions, and the garlic, but now our strength is dried up and there is nothing at all but this manna to look at. Now the manna was like coriander seed and its color was like the color of gum resin. The people went around and gathered it, ground it in mills or beat it in mortars, then boiled it in pots and made cakes of it. And the taste of it was like the taste of cakes boiled with, baked with oil. When the dew fell on the camp in the night, the manna would fall with it. Moses heard the people weeping throughout their families, all at the entrances of their tents. Then the Lord became very angry and Moses was displeased. So Moses said to the Lord, why have you treated your servant so badly? Why have I not found favor in your sight that you lay the burden of all this people on me? Did I conceive all this people? Did I give birth to them that you should say to me, carry them in your bosom as a nurse carries a sucking child to the land that you promised on oath to their ancestors? Where am I to get meat to give all this people? For they come weeping to me and say, give us meat to eat. I am not able to carry all this people alone, for they are too heavy for me. If this is the way you are going to treat me, put me to death at once, if I have found favor in your sight, and do not let me see my misery. So the Lord said to Moses, gather for me 70 of the elders of Israel, whom you know to be elders of the people and officers over them. Bring them to the tent of meeting and have them take their place there with you. I will come down and talk with you there, and I will take some of the spirit that is on you and put it on them, and they shall bear the burden of the people along with you, so that you will not bear it all by yourself. And say to the people, consecrate yourselves for tomorrow, and you shall eat meat, for you have wailed in the hearing of the Lord, saying, if only we had meat to eat, surely it was better for us in Egypt. Therefore the Lord will give you meat, and you shall eat. You shall eat not only one day, or two days, or five days, or ten days, or twenty days, but for a whole month, until it comes out of your nostrils and becomes loathsome to you, because you have rejected the Lord who is among you, and have wailed before him, saying, Why did we ever leave Egypt? But Moses said, The people I am with number 600,000 on foot, and you say, I will give them meat, and they may eat for a whole month? Are there enough flocks and herds to slaughter for them? Are there enough fish in the sea to catch for them? The Lord said to Moses, Is the Lord's power limited? Now you shall see whether my word will come true for you or not. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me in the second song of Isaiah in unison. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. For your ways my ways says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens, and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed, and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the church in Rome. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for salvation to everyone who has faith, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For in it, the righteousness of God is revealed through faith for faith. As it is written, the one who is righteous will live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and wickedness of those who by their wickedness suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is plain to them because God has shown it to them. Ever since the creation of the world, his eternal power and divine nature, 
invisible though they are, have been understood and seen through the things he has made. So they are without excuse. For though they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him. But they became futile in their thinking and their senseless minds were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools and they exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling a mortal human being or birds or four-footed animals or reptiles. Therefore, God gave them up in the lusts of their hearts to impurity, to the degrading of their bodies among themselves, because they exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshiped and served the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me in the second canticle, a song to the Lamb. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. May we share together in the creed. I believe in God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Every night and and now and always. always. Day by day we bless you. We We praise your name name forever. forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. We put our trust trust in in you. And you, Lord, is our hope. We we shall shall never never hope hope in vain. O God, by your Holy Spirit, you give to some the word of wisdom, to others the word of knowledge, and to others the word of faith. We praise your name for the gifts of grace manifested in your servants, George Barclay and Joseph Butler, and we pray that your church may never be destitute of such gifts. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me in a prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. 
I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. I see on Facebook that we have Corinne joining us. So Corinne, we pray for your continued healing and recovery from your fall and broken bone. May it uh, knit well and may you grow strong before God. We pray for all who are em embracing and facing health concerns right now. Are there others? We offer a prayer for social justice. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease. That our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. A prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, you guys, thank you so much for uh, your support today. Sorry to folks out there in Facebook land that our uh, broadcast was um, disrupted, but we are so grateful for those who've made the journey back onto the page. Um, and as well, just be aware that we are recording this for YouTube, posting it a little bit later uh, this morning so you continue to enjoy the content that we have there. So thank you so much. Uh, may this day be a blessed one. Please, if you get a chance to get outside in New Jersey and enjoy this incredible day, yeah. it is absolutely beautiful. I hope it's beautiful where you are now watching this. Any uh, final words of parting, guys? I love your wind chimes. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's it's a gift. I I'm, I I give I give glory to God and praise to my wife Laura for having created this space in our backyard that I get to share with you guys. So thank you for that. Have a good Take day. Care. Bye bye. God bless. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye.